Ladies and gentlemen, having toured the country twice in the past year, our featured guest performers at 1994. 1994. Strange Days. The Metal Mike Show. Look at that. Everybody's got long hair. I noticed that right away. Longer hair, I suppose. Paul Martin. Man, he was great. He is great. Great guitar player. I, um... I'm overwhelmed that his, uh... I mean, once you see the solo, his intensity. Larson Liebig. And Mike Albiano. My buddies from St. Jerome's High School in yeah. Kitchener. They're the ones who invited me in on your band. And they told me about what you guys were doing. And Mike was very excited. Always loved rock and roll music. We, we traded tapes and records at yeah. school. There's a young lion. How old were you then? We must have been. So 23, 24? 23 or 24 years old. Wow. Manifest destiny. That's a rockin' band. It's a rockin' band. <laughs> Was this, this song, uh, it, wasn't on your first record. Uh, was it intended for a record? It was intended yeah. for a record, which never came out. Uh, we broke up. Rogan, Dan Cornelius on the drums. And you had mentioned to me before that he went on to play with Danko Jones. Was that it? He did. Yeah, I think for ten years he traveled the world. With Danko. Yeah, he's a rock and roll drummer. I haven't seen Lars in a while, but I know he's in the area. I heard he's in Cambridge. Yeah. I saw him about nine years ago, I want to Oh, say. did you? On a visit from Alberta to Kitchener. So this is 23 years ago? 1994. Yeah. Do the math. I Not my strong <laughs> suit, especially under pressure. I'm overwhelmed by the look of all of us. Right. <laughs> Just the long hair. And uh, the fact that everybody has it and lots of it. And, lots uh, of hair. Like, he looks like the monster so from wrecked. The Monsters. <laughs> oh, <he does. laughs> oh, it's a great soul. He had great tone. He had great instincts. He knew how to serve the song, you know? Yes. He had a real Jimi Hendrix kind of flair to him. And look at his face. Yeah, you just let it wash over him. Mikey. Michael, some lovely touches here. I loved that amp that he had too. Yeah. Painted, uh, he put um, that textile in front of him. They were both playing Fender Twins. I this is in the uh, the old studio there. Rogers? Yeah, in the the Neve console that we've talked about. Oh yeah, bit. everything ran through that Neve console. Which a lot of people made fun of in those days, but little did they know exactly what they had. Right. As they just thought it was old and in the way or something. Right, yeah. They, they just looked at it as something that needed to be upgraded. For, for right, it. just a mono board. Yeah. It's no good. The great audio, great video. I mean, this is all analog. Yeah. This is cool. The uh, lights. The flare really did a great job. It was a lot of fun yeah. to do. We took it seriously. We all. You, you took the music seriously. Right. You took your show seriously. We took it seriously. Here we go. There we go. Thanks for doing this. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>